Ladies and gentlemen of Blanchett Catholic School, wear seat belts. If I could offer you only one tip for the future, seat belts would be it. The major benefits of seat belts have been proven by scientists, whereas the rest of my advice has no basis more reliable than my own meandering experience. I will dispense this advice. Now, enjoy the time you have here at Blanchett every day. However, you won't understand how blessed you truly are until you have left us. But trust me, in 20 years, you will look back at Cavalier yearbooks and recall in a way you can't grasp now how much possibility lay before you and how lucky you really are. You are powerful beyond belief. Don't worry about the future, or worry, but know that worrying is as effective as trying to shave McCormick's mustache by chewing bubblegum. The real troubles in your life are apt to be things that never crossed your worried mind, the kind that blindsides you in Mickens' class on some idle Thursday. Do one thing every day for someone else. Listen. Don't be reckless with other people's hearts. Don't put up with people who are reckless with yours. Give. Don't hold grudges or be jealous. Sometimes you're ahead, sometimes you're behind. The race is long, and in the end, it's only with yourself. Remember to say please and thank you. Always own up to your own mistakes. It is better to hear it from you than someone else. Find something you love to do and make it your job. Smile. Don't be content with average. It is as close to the bottom as it is to the top. Set goals and believe in yourself. If you can dream it, you can achieve it. Get plenty of sleep. Be kind to your classmates. You'll miss them when they're gone. Maybe you'll go to college. Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll get married. Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll travel the world. Maybe you'll dance the soldier boy on your 75th wedding anniversary. Whatever you do, don't congratulate yourself too much or berate yourself either. Your choices are half chance. So are everybody else's. Enjoy your body. Use it every way you can. Don't be afraid of it or what other people think of it. It's the greatest instrument you'll ever own. Sing. Even if you have nowhere to do it, but in the shower or car. Read the directions, even if you don't follow them. Do not read beauty magazines. They will only make you feel ugly. Get to know your parents. You never know when they'll be gone. they can be past at times, they have infinite love for you, and they'll be there for you in the future. Understand that friends come and go. As life changes, so do our priorities. Work hard to stay in touch to the precious few who should hold on. It is good to have people who knew you back when and can keep you grounded. Strike out on your own and find out who you are. But never forget the person you once were. Dance. Accept this certain inalienable truth that you were born to become the best version of yourself. And when you do accept, you'll realize that day by day, month by month, year by year, God has a purpose for you. Don't gossip. Challenge yourself to think outside the box. Sometimes the answers are right in front of us, but we can't see them until we give up control. Only then can we achieve success. Be the change you want to see in the world. Be careful whose advice you buy, but be patient with those who supply it. Advice is a form of nostalgia dispensing it is a way of wishing the past from the disposal, wiping it off, painting over the ugly parts, and recycling it for more than it's worth. But trust me, 